Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube channel. Cooking with shells. Now I got a good. I already did the stuff for that. Okay. With that being said, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Today, I will be doing for you people, my followers, I'll be doing a bachelor's lasagna, a one-two lasagna for my bachelor's and my bachelorettes. I will be doing a one-two. Very easy, a very quick one-two lasagna. Some people look at lasagna and get offended thinking it's going to be too hard, and it's not. It's very one-two. I'm not going to try to reach over this until I, I, I need another camera. So I'm going to just wave at the people the, uh, that join. I am Tanya. Um, I'm going to just wave because I can't cross over for the other camera. So today is a one-two, quick one-two lasagna for my bachelors and my bachelorettes. Um, more too low. How y'all doing? I don't see none of my Facebook people saying anything. I think something's wrong with my little iPad for my Facebook. Because a couple of people were saying, I was saying, hey, but you didn't see it. Uh, so I turned it this way because I turned it sideways and I wasn't seeing nothing. So with that being said, more to love. All right, now more to love. Let's get started. Now, I'm going to do, because I'm on a diet, y'all. So I'm going to do the, the, the regular pasta for my bachelor man, but I want at least two pieces out of this lasagna. So I got my turkey ground meat. I got my Italian sausage. Oh yeah, and I did. I put my cheese. my cheese. Put this up. I had vegetables for lunch. And a two cup of. Uh, A mozzarella cheese. And why I didn't get my pan out, I don't know. I thought I was doing good. Because I got my oven on. And I borrowed my lasagna noodles. The noodles only take broil it, wait till the water gets to a boil with a little oil and a and uh, a table a teaspoon, tablespoon of salt in that water. I borrowed that for 10 minutes and took it out. Rinse it off, put it in the strainer. We're going to put this on high to make this heat up. We're going to put a little olive oil in this, not a lot, just so it won't stick. I have Italian sausage, mild Italian, and I have my lean 8515 turkey. Now, I do turkey because I don't do ground meat. Y'all can make it with ground meat 80-20 or 93 if you're watching it, 93-7. But y'all can make it with ground beef, ground beef. I don't eat ground beef, so I'm going to always substitute ground beef for turkey. So, with that being said, How y'all doing on Facebook and Instagram? I can't see that good. That light, that light is hot. But before we put the meat in, because I have that oil, we're going to cut a half of an onion. And this is very simple. We put onion and garlic. And you can do a bell pepper if you want to. If not, that's fine. Rinse off. I'm going to 
do half of a bell pepper. Take this stuff. Just, I'm not taking, I, I cut this off. I like all of the seeds. All that is seasoning. I don't throw that away. And we cut the inside of that. Doing it long ways. Then we're going to dice it. Then I'm going to do half with the, uh, with the pasta and half with the zucchini. So I can eat some because I'm no, 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 no carbs, no carbs. Yeah, I can have cheese. All you need to do is pick up you. This is my favorite spaghetti sauce. And look, marinara, five cheeses. This has five cheeses in it. So this is gonna make your lasagna cheesy. And you, you don't have to buy all that cheese because stuff is too high. You can get these sauces cheaper than you can get some cheese, promise you. So I'm on a diet. I'm not eating any carbs. I'm going to treat myself to the lasagna, which isn't bad, except all this cheese. But I'm not having pasta with it. So if you was on Weight Watchers or something, this would work out for you. And Keto's, actually. Keto's, Weight Watchers, counting parts and stuff. This lasagna here will work out for you. I'm doing none of them. I'm not doing none of them. Them don't work for me, but they don't mean it don't work for you. Just don't work for me. So, I'm gonna put the onion, bell pepper, I like the big garlic. One, two, three. But we're going to probably use this whole garlic. Maybe not. It's only five in there and a little bitty one. So we're going to put that in my little garlic thing. And we're going to clean this off. And smash them. That didn't smash. Smash. This do better on this damn counter. Yeah. Smash. saving that one for the bread. We're going to do our own garlic bread. And this would be a nice date night meal too. Something simple. Now this is like one, two. When I say one, two lasagna, it's a quick lasagna. Got that off. My garlic, make it easy. You know, this always smells good. You can't never go wrong. With 
onion, garlic, bell pepper. Onion, garlic, bell pepper. Two garlic cloves. Okay, one garlic cloves, but that's too thick for can I make it? Oh. I'm like I'm working out out here. washing my hands and I think it's time for a West West Go Lens. All right now. We go. We go. West We Go must be. Lynn. get a drink because it's drink time okay I need to put that little bit more over there that looks like that needs to be a little bit over there hey papa hey papa I need something heavy to do this one okay okay bring that back over there all right Y'all, because it's over there, I can't reach over these cameras. Jessica, Jessica Clark, hey girl. Marlene Johnson, hey girl. Okay, it's watching. I know Patrick on there somewhere, but I'm gonna go look. Because y'all got to the end of this month, and I'm gonna see who was consistent, who watched all my channels, who is subscribed, who liked them, so you have to like my channel, subscribe to my channels, and share my channels. So you can be right here cooking with me, telling me what you want Shell to cook. You can be right in here. Get me some of y'all followers. Lift up my YouTube channel. It's growing. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God with these blessed hands. Because y'all come and taste these blessings. And this is quick and easy. And y'all can fix this for like a date night or something. It would be really nice for a date night. It really would. Okay. Where is my wooden spoon? Because I had my wooden spoon earlier. I did, but I think I put them all up. No, I didn't. I, I did have that on the camera. I'm impressed with myself. I said I was going to leave out some stuff. So I can remember. Okay. We gonna let that. We gonna put the lid on that so that can cook some. Okay. 
okay, with that being said, we need to get the drink of the night. Now, I've never tasted this, but my Kimberly Jackson brothers, these brothers don't never let me down. They really don't. They don't. They don't. They don't let me down. So with that being said, And this is a Pinto Grease. Not Pinio Greasia. It's a, look, Pinto Grease. Grease. You don't say the S, I think. Yeah. 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 This have a glare on it. <laughs> there we go. Let's see. I need something to to come behind here, look like. And this ain't it. Is that getting my, yeah, that's getting me over there and everything, okay. And me, no, it's not. Let's move it over some. Okay, I thought I had this situated. It's just off from the, but my iPad got it all, cause it's wide. I don't know why the other ones don't ever want to work with me wide, but here we go. Kendall and Jackson. I saw this today. I had never seen this before. Pinto grease. Pinto grease. 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 I Googled this to say it right, and I'm still on here not saying it right, but y'all see how, what it is, what it is, pinto grease, grease, mm -hmm. it's not grease, yeah, I'm not getting caught up with this wine, but I'm going to taste this wine, and we're going to see if I'm going to feel that my, my wine um, racks up with it. Yes, we is. Yes, we are. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm going to put it down in a minute. But I've been on this diet. And I ain't been drinking. So, there you go. And a good glass of wine in me is all will never part. I'm gonna get me some more of this. And I bought it from Matherns up here in Laplace. But check all your stores that have Kendall and Jackson. I'm gonna keep this to one glass tonight. I'm gonna train myself, y'all. Pray for me. Pray for me. I'm gonna train myself for one glass. Pray for me. With that being said, let's mix this up. Oh, it's nice cooking with it with the steam. Now it's cooking. Okay, we're gonna add a little Tony saturn to this. That's probably about a tablespoon and a little garlic. I can never have enough garlic. I can't. We're cooking this all the way through and we probably have to pour off some of the juice. We're going to see if this makes uh, a lot of juice. If it makes like, when you cook, um, when you cook the beef, it'd be a lot of juice in the beef. You have to pull that off. You don't let all that juice stay in your lasagna. You don't want no greasy lasagna.
B, you'll have a lot of grease from that 80, 80, 20, 20% fat. Now we're going to see how many layers, because I'm going to go crossword with my lasagna where it won't be no more than three pieces. I don't need no more than that. And I also know not none of my uh we're gonna spray this pan. Oh, I'm out of spray. So we're gonna oil this pan. Just a little so nothing won't be sticking, because we're gonna put a little layer of sauce at the bottom. And let's put a bottom and the sides. Lasagna noodles, but I'm cutting them a little bit so my zucchini will fit. So I can save this for something else. And if y'all can see, I will eat that raw with a dip, with some dip, instead of a cracker. See, that's healthy choices. No crackers. Zucchini as a dip, as a, a chip instead of a real chip. Oh, yeah. Now, how much? I got a little, a little oil in here from not a lot from that pork, from that Italian sausage. Italian sausage is pork. this and drain this in a cup. That ain't that much fat for, for, um, for turkey. Chop that up some more. No big chunks. No big chunks in your uh, lasagna. Go around until it's all nice and diced up. Onion, bell pepper. This is quick one-two lasagna. One-two-three lasagna. We're going to put the five cheeses in there first. Five cheeses. We're doing five cheeses. Rest off that because that's going to bother me. Okay. The five cheeses. Five cheeses first. See what we got. To me, it's never enough. That's why I put... The five cheeses, put a little water in it, get all of it out. That's how my grandma used to do it. Ain't nothing was left in the jar. And the marinara sauce. When I say this is a one-two, 
This is a one too. Throw that onion, or you can put it in a food processor. I just like fresh, fresh vegetables. That's just me. Mix that so that's five cheeses. And then you go with the marinara sauce to give it a little tang. See a big chunk? Make sure you break it up. Don't supposed to be lumpy lasagna. Okay, we're going to do a one-two on these wings. Let's make sure they don't have none of them little furry things. You know, the wing, they don't clean a good wing like they used to. They used to clean the wings good. They don't clean, they have the little, the little wings still be on them. So you got to rinse them off, look through them, and make sure you don't have a little wing flying on them. Okay, none of my 13 have it on there. Okay, I let the water out. Cause I, I had them rinsing. You gotta rinse off anything you get these days, you have to rinse. You have to rinse anything. I can't reach over, hey cuz, to all. Because I got all three together and that would be a reach and that's too far. But I want y'all to know I'm gonna look I'm watching who looks at my page and I'm checking to see who's consistent because at the end of this month, the 1st of July, I will announce who won for the, these three months and you'll get to cook with shells, especially if you're local. If you're not local, but you, but you could have won like my cousin Mary because she's consistent and she's always watching all my stuff. Whenever she come down here, I told her she could just come in and we gonna cook and drink that part. But if you're here and you've been consistent, holla at me. Go come, come and holla at me. Uh, and I'll go to the next person if you're not local. I mean, if you are local, uh, that one. But I look at everything to see who's looking and who's going to win with cooking with shells. Patrick feel like he should cook with me and the new person. That ain't how that go. That ain't how that go. But that's Patrick. Mm. Okay, with that being said, I promise you, get this cook. This is this is a good bachelor or black bachelor at meals, or if you trying to impress somebody, like you had cooked all day, this is a quick fix. 30 minutes tops, especially as soon as you come home. But these wings, let's season these wings up. And I'm gonna show you how to do these wings. We're going to put garlic on these wings. We're going to put tawny saturn on these wings. A little. And I wanted to put, uh, I had some uh, slap your mama, a hot one. Hot 
happening. This is also for my bachelor and my bachelorette. <coughs> that got that went straight in my throat. Straight in my throat. I'm sorry. <coughs> that was not an excuse for uh <laughs> for another break. Okay, it was not. I really had a call from that Kanyan head went in my throat. Oh, yeah, now you got to taste your food. You always taste and make sure it's seasoned. Seasoned to your taste. A little bit more tall saturated. But that goes with your ground meat or your ground turkey. What did you do? What did you come up with? How much did you get? How much is the pack? We gonna cook this about another because we want that we want that flavor to get in there before we layer the um layer this. That's my noodles and that's my lasagna. This is my bowl for me to mix up my wings. Okay, my wings. We gonna get this rack out. We gonna do air fry. I said I was gonna do them in the oven. If you do wings in the oven, it only takes 45 minutes. If you don't have an air fryer, that's fine. You could do them in the oven. Wings literally take without furl. I know old school is like furl everything. Furl, 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 foil, foil. <laughs> I think I said that right too. Anyway, furl, foil. I have to say it slow. Foil. Oh, uh, yeah, that. Likes to put furl on everything. Not, not hey, cousin Mary. <laughs> Um, I do my wings and they come out perfect every time if you just put them in the pan unwrap they have a little crisp to it I pull off in the midst of the like 30 minutes of it like 30 to 35 minutes of it I pull off the excess grease 30 minutes of it and the last 15 I let that get a little crispy skin because I like a little crispy skin. And if you want it even more crispy, you go five more minutes. But 45 minutes on wings are perfect every time. Promise you. Okay. Well, we're going to use this air fryer. And since we got two racks, my emerald red air fryer, my granddaughter broke. I had that air fryer for about four years. I had caught it on a special. I only paid 50 some dollars for that air fryer. And that's when air fryers wasn't popular. Um, she took out the pan and it broke because it was a pullout. Anyway, I still feel a little, I feel a little uh, salty mm. about that. Okay, with that being said, we're going to plug up the air fryer. Yeah, I don't keep my air fryer pro plugged up because when I was doing energy thing, that's some of the, the savor of energy. That's what energy tell me anyway. If you're not using that appliance, unplug it. When you, you, when you need it, you plug it back. You know, because energy is... Coming up with a whole bunch of stuff because I was on the phone. at and I told at and I was going to get on my page today and let everybody know about at and I had, I had, I had at and U-verse. I still have at and for my phone network. My cell phone. 
Oh, and I'll probably work on that too. AT&T, been with them for 15 years. 15 years. That's a loyal customer to me. 15 years. And y'all keep going up every 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 year, y'all go up. If it's not every, no, every other year y'all go up. But y'all have a, a, a special every year. So at the end of that year, you have to contact them so they can figure out something to make you have less. Well, I guess I'm at my limit because I have a, I had a $280 U-verse bill. I have the bundle. I have the internet, the um, cable, and the um, phone for my fax. And it was $288. And I went from a normal bill of $216 to $280. Oh, your special off. My special go off every year. and But you go ahead. You I have to pay that bill. And then you're going to. We're not running no promotions right now. But when we start, we'll let you know. Or you can just call us back. I said, y'all not going to call me to tell me about a promotion. Unless I tell y'all. And I do this every other year. For 15 years. So this year, I don't have AT&T. You know at and I had, um, I did um, um, Comcast now, Infinity, in Laplace where I live at. You know them people told me I couldn't cut my service off until the 15th. I said, but the people that came and installed my new system. So it's not like I'm using y'all internet because they, they don't, they disconnected your service and I'm paying for this service. Well, we not we don't do that until the fifteenth. And so the people came when they installed it. It was like they're not releasing your phone number. AT and T is known for holding your phones, your numbers and stuff for hostage because they don't want you to tell me that's assault. That's assault throwing. <laughs> they don't want you to leave, so they hold your number and then they'll hold it hostage until they feel like or they'll keep your number. I'm going to tell you what God loves. You can keep that number. If y'all don't let that number go tomorrow, because y'all on some petty stuff, because y'all really don't treat y'all customers right. Because if I was with you with 15, for 15 years, clearly y'all done threw some salt, and I'm salty in the mouth. So it's clearly it's a problem. So you should maybe want to pacify me and maybe say, well, okay, Miss Lewis, and we, we really hate to lose your service. And we if something go wrong, just come, you know, Hit us up and we'll be glad to serve you again. That's what you were supposed to say. But no, you playing games. And you holding my number into the 15th. And I've been with y'all for 15 years. And I told the lady, oh, I'm going to get on my Instagram, my Facebook, my YouTube. And I'm going to talk about y'all because this doesn't make any sense and this is not right. How can I have been a loyal customer, but y'all getting too high when they have so many other internets that I can pay 140, 150? Why should I be paying a light bill for y'all? Why? So I told the lady, so it was either me paying my light bill or me with the internet. Me paying my light bill or me with the internet. Oh, if I don't pay my light bill, I guess I won't have internet. Make it make sense. She said, she, I'm so sorry to hear that. <laughs> I saw her, no, you ain't sorry. You ain't sorry. Stop saying you're sorry. She had said she was sorry like three or four times. You're not sorry. She giggled one time when I said that. I said, you ain't sorry. You're not. I said, but y'all, that's all right. I said, I know I got to pay this bill no matter what I be on, what I'm on this phone saying to you. I got to pay this bill. And you know what? It's okay. It's all right. You be blessed now. You hear, baby? <laughs> I said, now, bye. Bye, girl. Bye, girl. She called, and I hung up. She called me back. <laughs> she had a uh, Miss Barnes. I was trying to tell you, if I get in touch with the other agent, I said, but the fact is, you got going to get in touch with the other agent. Y'all told me Friday that I was going to have to wait to the 15th, which is tomorrow, Wednesday. And y'all holding me to that. 
Now you on this phone saying this, but I call Friday, I call Monday, and I'm calling today, Tuesday. And the result is still, I have to wait till Wednesday on the 15th when y'all ready to cut the service off, but the service been off since Friday. Make that make sense, that, but y'all gonna charge me for that. And it's all right, because God got me. Devil in hell can't stop what God got for me. Facts. I say, you be blessed now here. Uh, but I'm trying to explain to you. I hung up again. You know she called me that. I'm done with that conversation. <laughs> At the end of the day, I told her, girl, bye girl, bye girl, bye girl, bye girl, bye girl, bye. She had made me made. But this lasagna is ready. I had told y'all my story because I was really upset today. I was. But I said, bye, girl. Bye. That girl called me back. Hmm. Ain't that just nothing? Make sure if you're doing beef, you would have to drain. Make sure to drain the grease off of the beef. Because the beef, 20, the 20, um, The, the 2080, it's going to give you a lot of grease. A lot of grease. We're going to put a little of this lasagna at the bottom to cook. Little at the bottom. I'm going to show y'all. We want that all at the bottom. Little something, something to lay on the bed. Lay on the bed. Lay on the bed. Lay on the bed. Just a little something to lay on the bed. 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 We're going to see how much these, it's three noodles across, but we're going to cut these noodles. Three noodles. Three noodles. Okay. And to make room for my, make room for my pasta, cut it straight across. And this is a 9 by 13. So my lasagna, I mean my zucchini, my two zucchinis. These are nice size zucchinis. Then we're going to put the pasta in. That's the first layer. See, that's why I ain't gonna make a mess. I'm not, I'd rather make a mess on the stove than a mess on my floor. Facts. Now, I got pepper jack. I got the one that has uh, eight cups. And we gonna use all of this. I can tell you right now. We're going to use all of this. This pepper jack, shredded Kobe and Monterey jack. Oh, not pepper jack. I'm sorry, y'all. Kobe and Monterey jack. I'm saying pepper jack. That has a little spices in it. I don't put pepper jack on my, what you call it. 
Okay. Eight cups of cheese. This one is eight. Is what size? A Thirty-two ounce. On my last layer, on the top layer, because this ain't my top layer, y'all. So I'm gonna have to put furl in this um in my oven. So I'm trying to uh, so I don't have that much mess. Furl underneath this. I'm gonna leave some furl out, a furl paper underneath this, so I don't have a mess. Okay, last one. And I have two left because I only did eight. But remember, I've been doing these halves, so I could have did less than this. I could have probably did six, and this would have been fine. Cause this is a whole one. I could, yeah, I'm gonna do a full layer. And we're going to go up here, up here, down here, double that, double that, yeah, and zucchini, zucchini, zucchini is my bottom layers, how about that, hmm. and this was extra. Can't do nothing with that. I need to, uh, that would have been left. Okay. The last of the lasagna. Go on top. And it smells amazing. Amazing. Y'all know how quick this lasagna was? It really was quick. I might have took long talk and talk. Oh, uh, my mama liked that red bowl in the bank to wash the dishes to make it easier for her. She don't like to fill up the whole thing to wash dishes. So she keeps the bowl in there. Okay. Now let's not try to make a mess. Let's put a little bleach on that. Okay, y'all heard me what I said. This gonna take. This probably took about 30 minutes to be honest with you, but I was doing this and that. I was top. I was top. Our top, and we're gonna put this last layer on here. Oh, 
of we're putting this cheese up. That did the first, that did the first two layers. Then I get an eight, an eight ounce of mozzarella for the top. That's your money shot there. Yeah. This your money shot. been on here 50 minutes. Anyway, let me wipe off this. Put my towel in. I don't see my towel. Pan probably under it, huh? It is. Okay, I'm going to just wipe this stove off right fast because that's going to bother me. Be trying to Pour it in there. Make a mess. Okay. Now, with that being said, we finna do these wings. Now, y'all remember I had let the I had let that season set on these wings. I had let it sit on the wings. I did. Okay. This is how I do the wings. Oh, let me wash my hands. I forgot to, because I don't have no cooking spray. Now, when you don't have no cooking spray, I don't care if this is um, air fry. I don't care. I'm going to get a paper towel. I would have sprayed it. But if you don't have no spray, I'm going to dab this coconut oil. That sets on here. And when I go to the gym, I rub myself so I can sweat more. I do. I do. I'm going to put this coconut oil on this pan. Put them out of spray. And if you don't buy pan, some oil, some oil on the on a napkin to grease and there go and there you go if you don't have no pan okay so we gonna take these little wings take that little part there put it back we're not gonna overcrowd it because we want it just cooked all nice and crispy now, this little wing is broke, but it still went back, back. We put it to the back. We put it to the back. Let's see, Miss Lady, them three girls. All right, now, hey, y'all. 
and we're putting it like this, face down. That's in the back. It's like, take this, put it, put your, put your back leg in behind your head. Put your back leg behind your head. Put your back leg behind your head. That's what this is. Twist, put it behind your head. This is seasoned already. Put it behind your head. I think I can get eight on here. Put it behind your head, and I did 13. And the other pack. And I'm gonna put this on on the air fryer. If I was putting this in a pan in the oven, it would be in the pan in the oven for 45 minutes. And then I would take it out and put my hot wing sauce on. I'm gonna put a bottle of hot wing sauce on it and call it a date. This would be a perfect date night. Put them in the oven. Make some lasagna, make some lasagna for bait. Put the wings in the oven, bring them out, put them in a bowl. Put your, put your hot seasoning on it. Zatarans, Louisiana, any kind of hot sauce you want. Lemon pepper. And I said I was going to do lemon pepper because y'all look. I had got the lemon pepper. So I'm going to take these last five. And put, I was supposed to do lemon pepper. But when they come out, I'm going to do lemon pepper because I'm going to pepper them up again. I am. I'm going to do lemon pepper. Turn it around. 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 Lemon pepper. I think I should put the, the smaller one on the top. So there's these lemon peppers going on the top. Lemon pepper. Flip, 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 flip. My lemon pepper wings, my lemon pepper wings. And that's going to go on the, this going to go on the bottom. I think I want to make it even. One, two, three, four, five. Give me another lemon pepper wing. Perfect date night, y'all. Y'all have appetizers while she waiting for the lasagna to be ready. Liar. That's the perfect, <laughs> purpose appetizer. And, girl. I'm not used to this new one, but I have it on 370 for chicken. It has the chicken little thing on it. I'm okay. I'm gonna unplug this because I'm I'm not sure this and I'm confused. Okay. On chicken. See, it's on. My red, where's my red? I didn't have to do all that for my red. My red um, air fryer was so easy. You pick the thing, you could hear it. 
But the children say, you don't hear it because they're making it better. That, that was five or six years old. Facts. But I heard it and I knew it was on. That's so quiet you can't tell it's on. Okay, y'all. So, been on here for an hour. Y'all be blessed. I'm going to send y'all a picture. Take a picture behind this and break it down for y'all for that lasagna. Y'all have a blessed and wonderful night. Come taste these blessings. Don't forget to like my channel. Subscribe to all three channels, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And at the end of the month, I will be watching. I watch every, every time after this to see who was consistent. Who's consistent, who's following, who's liking all of my channel, and who's subscribing to my channel and getting their followers to subscribe to my channel. And come taste these blessings. Y'all be blessed. Thank you. And this, I have to reach for in video.